All right, guys, so the next variation we take a look at is similar to our first variation, which we did the kneeling lasso throws. Now we're going to do the same exact drill, but in a standing position. So what we're going to do is get your front foot uh, or the you know foot that you land on while pitching forward, back foot back. Kind of going to get both toes uh, facing the target. This leaks open or leaks more closed slightly. That's fine. Uh, but we want to try and keep the pelvis pointed this direction as much as possible. And what we're going to do is we're going to get back into our lasso position. So meaning arm even with the shoulder there, flipped up position. And in this drill, our focus is keeping that arm about shoulder height while keeping that thumb pointed down to initiate the drill. Now what we're going to do is when we go into our throw and we begin to rotate with our lower half, we're going to begin to supinate that lead arm or essentially turn that thumb upward and that palm towards facing upward, kind of pull it in, and then initiate and throw the ball into the net. So it's going to go like this, get back in that lasso position, thumb pointed down in that pronated position there, and then we're going to initiate pelvic rotation, throw the ball. So it's like this. So you can see there, going from pronated to supinated as I'm delivering the ball. Pronated position, Boom. supinated. Pronated position, supinated. Last one. So there you can see the main focus of this drill. Again, take the player's glove off of their arm. It really is a good visual cue to have that thumb pointed down and actually visibly see that thumb flipping over as they go into that supinated position while delivering the baseball.